the the Pauls are the PG ones that uh, we got a video up for, and you can check the link in the description. Uh, th that shoe did like 18,000 views, and I don't know why everyone likes the PG ones so much, but they definitely got a lot of views, and so I want to thank everyone who went and saw that shoe. This is Two Drinks to Talk. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the PG2s, or the Paul George 2s here. This is the Paul George uh, multicolor uh, uh, version of the shoe. I think it's a dope shoe. I did want to say, uh, the, the Paul George, the PG1s that uh, we got a video up for, and you can check the link in the description. Uh, th that shoe did like 18,000 views. And I don't know why everyone likes the PG ones so much, but they definitely got a lot of views. And so I want to thank everyone who went and saw that shoe. Uh, definitely uh, hope that you like this video with the PG twos. Um, this is, I don't know, one of my one of my favorite shoes for whatever reason. It doesn't retail for much. It costs about $110. And so, uh, Again, very affordable. I do like what they're doing with the box here. Um, I think it's interesting that his price hasn't gone up yet. We'll see what happens when he goes to LA. But uh, but yeah, we're gonna look at the front, the back, the side, and the whole the whole shebang bang. I'll give a a rating at the end. But uh, let's go. All right, so there you have it. Uh, the side of the PG2 multi colorway. Uh, a lot to talk about on this shoe. Um, I'm always I don't know I just I just dig the PGs I don't know why I got I got several pairs I think I got three or four pairs of PG ones so this is my first pair of PG twos um, the side of the shoe so you got this prominent Nike check here which I, I dig it's the backwards Nike check or whatever but uh, you got the Nike zoom here I'm indifferent about that I, I really like that you can see the multi colorway uh, sole on the side right there I think that that is quite fly. Uh, this this whole piece here at first I didn't like it at first I thought mm, I'm not really feeling that much but if you uh, <laughs> something about the white on the black I just think that that is just clean I think it, 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 it makes the shoe stand out for whatever reason and the whole the whole kind of aerodynamicness of the shoe I just think it's fly I think it's, I think it's dope I love this uh, kind of separate inner uh, uh, I don't you call this inner sole or whatever you call that, but I like that. I think it just looks nice. Um, it's hard to probably maybe see in the video, but there's a a Nike check right here. It's white on white, so it's hard to see, but it is there. I think you can't see it, but uh, I think that that is dope. Just a lot of subtle things. Oh, didn't even talk about the scales. You got the scales here uh, on the on the middle of the shoe here that I think just gives the shoe more design. You got, you got this little piece here that's holding the the you know the shoelace. Um, there's just a lot going on to the side of that shoe there that I think is all good. I think it just adds to kind of the uniqueness of this shoe. So shout out to, to PG2 and whoever's designing their shoes because they're doing a, a, a nice job. If he can out, if he can perform out here in these uh, playoffs, if he can get there, his, his, his brain is gonna go through the roof. Um, the inside of the shoe, uh, definitely have to show because it's a little different. You got the 93552, I don't know what that means, but you got this uh, little different textured front here. It's the scale, it's the same as the side scales here, so that gives it a little bit more uh, personality. You got the uh, non-reverse Nike check here on the scale side of the inside of the shoe, which I think is dope. And as you can see, the uh, multi-colorway soles, you can see even more prominently on the inside of the shoe from the side. So definitely a lot to talk about the side of the shoe. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at the back. Very simple, they got this kind of zipper design here, the gray and the white going up the back of the shoe. Otherwise, not a lot to talk about. Again, just a continuation of the scales. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at the bottoms. 
obviously a lot going on there, but because it's the bottom, it doesn't make the rest of the shoe loud, which is what I like about it. The shoe's clean, it's white, but it's not loud on the rest of the shoe, but the bottom, man, that is just dope to me. I don't, that's just dope. Anyway, uh, not a lot to talk about other than the purples, the reds, the yellows, the black, the blues. How you make all of that work in a shoe, I don't know, but they managed to make it happen. And so that is that is nice. Um, looks like on the inside tag here, you got a PG Paul George signature. And then uh, on the inside, you have his number 13 on the inside of the shoe, which is nice. Uh, it looks like on the other shoe, you have a a logo so you don't have the 13 you have the logo uh, which is probably hard to see there but uh, you know we kind of ran through the front the side the back all together but um I am I am just impressed I can actually say I don't know if you can see this in the camera either but when you kind of move the shoe against the light you actually see a red blue yellow and all of this in the black check it's so subtle but it is there you actually see it all in the scales as well. I don't know what in the world they did here. Maybe it's just the lights in the room, but um, that is dope to me. I, I, I am once again impressed, impressed by the Paul George uh, white shoe. I think it's dope. It's one of my favorite shoes right now. I'll definitely be wearing it and trying to keep it together and clean. Uh, let me uh, uh, go ahead and give you a rundown what I think about the shoe, give it a rating, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so we're back. Uh, the PG2 multicolorway. Nice job. Can we, can we give a, a hand clap to whoever designed this shoe? This is a dope shoe at a very reasonable $110 price point. Uh, if you if you want to hoop in some shoes, if you just want it for look or aesthetics, uh, they're dope. There's a lot. There's a lot of, I have a lot of praise for this shoe just because of the value that you're getting and the design that's gone into the Paul George shoes. So shout out to him. I'm gonna give this shoe a five. I am, this is a five. I didn't know you could give a five for a shoe that costs under $150, but I'm doing it. This is a dope shoe. Uh, I went to three different stores. They were all sold out. Went to a four store. They were finally not sold out. I think it was finish line that they weren't sold out of, uh, but Champs. Uh, Foot Locker and some other one, they, they were sold out at a size 12. So if you want this shoe, maybe you want to go out, go ahead and go out there and grab it. Uh, I'm a fan. Um, again, thanks for those who looked at the, uh, the original PG uh, One shoe review, got 18,000 views. Definitely not the goals, we're trying to get a lot more than that, but that's the start. Um, leave a comment what you think about the PG2s. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, can you get shoes or and or you know can we find some type of unique shoe will definitely always gets a lot of shoes he sells them on his uh, eBay page and some other locations but definitely uh, let us know what you think appreciate it